everyone, welcome back to Ogo Power, I'm Ogo, and this is another episode of Lost Judgment. So, um, you there. Yeah, we are here at the Jinsha Hounds. What if, uh, Blue King, sorry. What if Shikishima and this group be not fit? They seem to just be going around drawing over our stuff as usual. I see. <sighs> that bastard Shikishima. I wonder if he's paying that professor dude. Why else would those flex workers Shikishima's enforcers? Mm. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. I'd like to ask Shikishima about it directly, but... Yeah, I guess we have to do some skateboarding. Huh. And who are we up against this time? Suga! For the prime example of guilt, of the guilty acting too bold. How dare you show up here? Hm. How about another skateboarding contest, Yagami-san? I'll take you on. We need to re all. Oh, Shikishima. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are our terms this time? Shikishima. If you win, I'll answer one question, whatever you ask. Even about the professor. Yes, of course, but if we win, we're taking a month's worth of Chiyoda's reservations. What? What? Those are some pretty high stakes, man. Hey, it's fine if you don't want to. Just forget the whole deal. Nah. Chiyoda, you mind letting me handle this? You sure you can win? Uh. Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> cool. Then it's on. Let's put it all on the table. Score of three thousand, huh? That's all. My turn then. That's really not much, no matter what I take. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. I guess you guys see what I meant by... This will be no problem. To the skate park. The last two, I guess. <sighs> oh man, I lost for real. Shikishima. As promised, I need to answer my question, Shikishima. Yes, Ask away. What's the professor's objective? What does he gain from making the new Kahin gang work as your enforcers? From what I understand, it's some kind of promotional activity for him. A promotional activity? What do you mean? Sorry, that's two questions. Oh, come on. We're out of here. No? At least mm. I don't. Not sure I'm any close to figuring out what's going on with that kid. Could this should be his way of getting revenge? Yeah. Revenge for what? I've always thought that maybe. That was the reason he quit art back in middle school. Uh. Like maybe that's why he shows off drawing over our work the way he does. What? You mind elaborating on that? Yeah. Nah, maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah. It took you that long to think of that? Okay. Um, wait, I, I think we did all the race. Yeah. Um, as for the points, what? Uh. Ah, oh, you know what? That's a good point, sink. And yeah, let's let's just get it so we I'm um, I have it. But. Yeah, skating, because it's very easy to get points, then buying the passes and then go playing. I guess that's a good way to get some money. 
Oh, it's that one. to get more points. Good. So, let's do the last one, the section sham. 3,500. So there are also only two skateboards left. One of them you can get for points of change. Um, okay. Wait, seven thousand points? Wait, why seven thousand suddenly? I haven't found a lot of points, so I think I will go for points. and stuff. Although I don't want to lose my combo. Okay, yeah. Just 15,000 points. Uh, 15,000 per funded, yeah, but. <laughs> Bit more feel. Okay. Okay, there's nothing can do now. Uh, here, for whatever strange reason. Okay, um, I will do Paradise VR upgraded soon because I want to double test this. Uh, you know what? Let's do this now. 
I'm 10 minutes in, that should be enough. And I really need the money. We are upgraded if I remember correctly. The game is on. Can you come to the park today? What's going on? I'm in a bit of trouble. Just head to the usual gathering spot. Um. You know what? Let's go there. I have absolutely no clue. Do you have to come at night or something? <sighs> okay, well, um, since not fighting seems to have started this. Can we do it now? Okay. Chioda. I don't know why I was able to do it now. So what's going on, Chioda? Let's her over to the bar. Uh. Okay. Shima and his crew did it. Eh? They did? One of our guys was practicing at the time to try to stop them and kicked our asses. Bastards. Oi. Hey, where did Shikishima and them go? They ran off towards Samakita Park. We must have crossed them on the way here, but then they're not gonna get away with this. Nah. No. What are you planning? I'm gonna make them take responsibility. Oi! What? Hey! Who are you guys? Oh. I think I know. Hmm. Are you sure you don't seem like the Akishima skateboard buddies? You're the new Kain gang, and you? Ah. Uh. I don't know some software for it. It's not making you any money, is it? Hmm. Not a damn mm -hmm. yet. 
Your tone seems to imply you aren't happy about any of this. Let me guess, the professor putting up to it. You sound curious, like a guy who wants to die. Bring it on. Maybe you'll feel like talking after knock you around. Oh, perfect. Snake style is next. That was a nice one. Ooh, we got some money. Damn it. Soga. You've gone to power of taking here, Shikishima. What's this about? You think this out of spite? Or when you quit the outpost back in middle school? Jimmy. This is revenge, right? Because of some grudge? Say it already. <laughs> Look at yourself. Uh? What? You're no. just being lazy, Chioda. You know it. Okay. Mm. Oi. That's enough. Mm? Huh? Oi. Hey, what the hell? Let me go. This wristwatch. Shikishima. Shikishima. I didn't notice this till now, but... Are you left-handed? You've got your watch on your right wrist, so you must be. <laughs> <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? There's something else about that information. What? Now that I think about it, there's some evidence that belies your left-handedness. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's this one. He's doing it with the right hand. It's alright here in this photo. I mean, I have to say, um, years ago, I used to wear my hand, uh, my watch on my right arm as well, on my right hand, and yes, I'm right handed. Huh? This Shikishima right in the middle of a drawing of our piece. Take a closer look, Chiyoda. Shikishima's drawing with his right hand. Ah! Oh! Now that you mention it? Nah. Hey, Mitsui. Y yeah, what's up? You've hung around him long enough to know, right? Has Shikishima been drawing his with his right hand all this time? Now that you mention it, you might be right. Yeah, something fell off because my impression was that Shikishima's left-handed. And wouldn't you say Shikishima's art has improved dramatically compared to when he first started? Y yeah, that's right. He kind of sucked in the beginning. Naruhodo. As I suspected. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, what does this all mean? Shikishima. I think it's got something to do with the real reason Shikishima was drawing over Chioda since his crew's work. Am I right? The reason Shikishima was using his right hand to draw graffiti? His left hand was hurt? His left hand was hurt? Maybe? Is he hurt his left hand? Yeah? Yeah. Wait, but he punched me with his left hand earlier. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about him hurting his left hand. Oh, really? Well, if that's the case, the reason you could see. Um. Maybe he messed up using his. Huh? How would he mess uh. it up? It was a mess. Uh, Jiro seems to believe that Shikishima was going around throwing off the blueprints out as a means of revenge. I can tell that Chiyoda and Shikishima have some sort of history, although I don't know what it's about. Daga. 
However, the fact that Shikishima was drawing with his non-dominant hand eliminates the possibility of this being revenge. In fact, it completely changes how we should review Shikishima's actions. If we do that, we start to see a certain message he was trying to convey through his drawings. What message? You mentioned that you gave up your dream of becoming an artist after searching on your right hand. Oh. Yeah, I did. Well, oh. Well, what conclusion can you come up to when you see that Shikishima draws with his non-dominant hand? And especially because you can see right before your eyes that Shikishima's improving day by day. Ah. Uh, I mean, don't tell me he... That's right. He's trying to show you that you can still create art without your non-dominant hand. He doesn't want you to give up on your dream of becoming an artist. Tsumari. That's the message he wants to get across. Isn't that right, Shikishima? Sh Shikishima, you... But you've always had a grudge against me. Because I'm the reason you quit pursuing art. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling you, you're lazy in the way you think. Think deeper. I mean, it's true you're the reason I quit, but there's more to it. Shikishima. Are you ready to explain then? When Chiyoda joined the art club, I realized that there's talent you can't beat no matter how hard you work. Chiyoda started drawing in his second year of middle school. That's late for most kids, but he quickly surpassed me, and I've been drawing for years. <sighs> But he had such skills, such expression with color, and above all, he was obsessed with the quest. He would draw 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, without taking a single break. He was intimidating in every aspect. I figured there was no way I could compete. Yeah, I remember the more praise I got, the more you would sulk. <laughs> well, that was a big adjustment for me. When I was a kid, I was always the best artist. But anyway, I quit the club, I got over it, and started to think differently. I realized I wanted to see Judah become an amazing artist. <gasps> what? Did you... Really? Ah. Uh. Yeah. Ironically, once I quit art, my interest in it grew even stronger. It felt like I was entrusting my dream to you. Shikishima. When I got into high school, I kept searching for a new dream. And that's when I heard that you'd quit borrowing. Uh. And why? Just because some rehab after the hand surgery was too much for you? So you're just gonna give it up? The hell you are. You're just letting your... Uh, you are just letting your guys use the stencil and you didn't even create it. Your predecessor did. <laughs> it made me think, wow, this is the guy who caused me to give up on my dreams. I thought he was a genius. No, and you said it yourself, that you want to become an artist someday. Is that why you joined the Jinjo Hounds? <laughs> you got a problem with that? <sighs> to be honest, I was scared. Knowing there's a chance my hand wasn't gonna heal even after rehab, it freaked me out. That's why I kept avoiding it. But... I guess I can use my other hand if all else fails. If you can pull it off, I'm sure it'd be easy for a genius like me. Chiyoda. Listen, I'm going to try to pursue it again. The dream you entrusted me with. Ah. Nice. Level up appeal. But I think I need appeal level 5 for the dancing one. Oh, is that the end of the Jinjo Hounds? Well, Blue Kings. Hey, Shikishima-kun. Yamori-sensei. Does this mean you'll come back to school? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I will because I've accomplished what I set out to do. Thank goodness. Yagami-san told me about all the stupid things you did. I'm sorry, sensei. Eto. So, down to business then. How did you communicate with the professor? I received a private message through the underground site. The professor contacted you directly? Ah. Uh. Yeah. The message mentioned some things about Chiyoda. Your former rival Tete Chiyoda and the Blue King group are acting like they rule the underground of the city. They're ruining the place for everyone. I've seen you work before in an art contest and I know you should be the one to paint over those fools graffiti. I want you to let them know the rule of the city has changed, alright? Don't worry, I'll be sending you some bodyguards for this. Prof. M. So this is all a promotional light campaign for the professor like you mentioned before. Looking used to claim they were the king of delinquents. If the professor thought they were an ISO. So Speaking of which, was it the video of the professor based on how he looks in real life? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I don't know what he looks like, that was just my imagination. Professor Moriarty was the first king that came to mind when I heard the professor, so I drew him like that. <sighs> I see. Then I guess we can't rely on that drawing as we continue our investigation. Mm. Yeah. I'm a little surprised that Shikishima Kun's behavior turned out to be just a misguided commercial. But then again, we're not sure if it was the professor's true intention. Yeah, using a former art student for pu publicity purposes seems a bit far fetched. I wonder why he chose Shikishima Kun then. 
It's unforgivable. Whoever this professor is, I can't believe he would lead students astray for such nonsense. Let's not let our emotions get the better of us, Sensei. We promise to reveal his true identity and make him see what he has done. We do it in the name of the Mystery Research Club. Could you drop by the club room, please? It's a road to tell you about the professor. Okay. What do you have to tell me? Amasawa. Oh, hey, Amasawa. Yagami san. Thank you for coming, Yagami san. So what have you got this time? Ah yes, Yagami san, you live in Kamurochi, correct? Meaning you're quite accustomed to the city's nightlife. Huh. I guess you could say that. I'd like I do like going out for drinks. Wait, why are you asking me this? Not sure I'm getting it. Right, so this time I'd like you to go undercover at the girls by Nichinjo. Huh? Yeah, a girls bar? That's not exactly a place for the high school demographic. Why they're all of all places? There's a high likelihood that a certain girl's bar may hold some key information on the professor. Uh, when you say girl's bar, you're talking about one of those shot bars where most of the staff are girls, right? Eh. That's right. It's apparently different than a hostess club, though I'm not sure I understand how. Well, for one, the girls don't sit next to you at a girl's bar like they do at the hostess club. They talk to you from across the counter. Mm -hmm. Wait, so what exactly is the difference? The distance between you and the girl. Mm. What difference does the distance make? Isn't that the same kind of service? Well, it's just... <laughs> it's more exciting when you're closer to each other, you know? Oh. I guess, if that's how it is, then fine. But I still don't really understand. Maybe I'll understand if you compare it to mysteries? Mm. Mm, let's see. So if you had a casual East Soul mystery versus deep serious thriller, which would get your plot pumping more? Oh, oh certainly the latter. So then, a host club is more like a thriller? Well, sure, I guess that's how I'd put it. Naruhodo. I see, I understand completely now. I totally feel like she doesn't, but oh well. Anyway, can you tell me more about the connection between the professor and the girls born in Shinjo? So at the bar, there was this younger person who was ranting and raving about the professor. To make matters more interesting, that person was a student from Serio. Mm -hmm. A high school at the girls bar? But they don't normally let you in if you're underage, right? Eh. Yes, but he somehow faked his age and got in. However, he let it slip that he's a student at Serio. And the school was promptly notified. What's the kid's name? Eto. That's the thing. His name doesn't appear in our directory. Apparently, he gave a fake age and name. So, what did he say about the professor? He specifically said he knew the identity of the. Wow. That's really subtle. Do you think he's telling the truth? I can't say for sure. But I can tell you that this student was accompanied by some fucks who called themselves the Neo Kehingen. Naruhodo. That's so, huh? Then this is definitely an laughing matter. Eh. Indeed. They may very well the professor's identity and see if let it slip out. Do you know who the student leaked this info to? Hi. I do. She's the most popular person at the girls' bar, in fact. Okay. Emily S. Mochizuki, member number one employee at Girls' Bite. She grew up overseas. Her father's English and her mother's Japanese. Can we just ask her what the delinquent student said to her? Yeah. Well, this girl, Mochizuki, she's particularly tight-lipped. She never reveals details of the conversations between her and her customers. Well, I guess I'd do the same if I worked in a bar like that. Yeah. Mm. That just means getting this info out of her isn't gonna be easy. Yes, but that's where you come in, Yagami-san. You're a city man who knows all about the pleasures of the evening. <sighs> that's uh, one heck of a way to phrase that. Anyway, so I essentially need to become a regular at the bar and get on that girl's good side so she spills the beans, right? Hi. Yes, precisely. Yagami-san, I must rely on you once more. Unfortunately, I can't exactly enter since I'm underage. Eh? Why unfortunately? Did you want to try going undercover yourself? Maybe disguise as a girl's bar employee or something? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I mean, who wouldn't find that exciting? They'll put right in the unknown world of adult Amasawa. Amasawa, I'm glad to see you so curious, but don't go putting yourself into dangerous race and situations, got it? I'll try to keep that in mind. Yeah. 
And what is that one called? The Girls Bar. Okay. Anyway, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you again in the next episode of Ogopa. Bye-bye.